Yeah. This episode is geriatric mums. Maybe they're going to come up with new ideologies, new systems. Maybe they're going to save the world. Mm. Maybe they're going to make a better world for us to be dead in. <laughs> Today, at the geriatric mums, we're going to be discussing should you have kids? Is it going to be the best thing ever? Or is it going to ruin your life and your figure? We have two five-year-olds. So we know what we're talking about. And we also know that it's too late for us to consider this question. <laughs> so. <laughs> so we're gonna be brutally honest with you. Yeah. So we're gonna start with cons. Well, uh, I think one of the, one of the cons is, like, I mean, this, this might sound like a cliche, but you are worried all the time. You're worried about your child, you're worried about your partner, you're worried about yourself. You not only worry about dying, but you know, you worry about, leaving your child without a mother you when the phone rings and you don't recognize the number you think the worst it is you will never ever relax again so your life is basically ruined <laughs> yeah but also you're going to worry about your clothes so i've taken into wearing an apron all the time when i'm around Noah because uh, they are just so messy and uh, i want to wear nice clothes but i've got a nice selection of aprons <laughs> If you are, if you consider yourself a bit of a foodie, consider no more, <laughs> because you are. It, it doesn't matter what your intentions are. You are going to end up eating in a boring places because partly because if you if you eat out with a child, you rather eat in the places where the food comes quickly, and you know if you have to abort, 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 you don't want to have paid thirty pounds for your main. Absolutely, and also so, you're going to be eating really bloody early. Yeah, like four o'clock. But the good thing about the early meals is that you sometimes get the pensioner early bird deals. <laughs> Land food, you know, can't use salt. What I would do is I would like, if I'm doing like a spaghetti bolognese, I might blitz everything so he can't see the bits. Or if I'm doing something more exotic, I'll take the meat out uh, so that he can sort of have things separately. So it's the same dish, but slightly different. But yeah, boring bland food. Also, you start to talk like a nutter. I mean, because you're used to talking to a child. I'm not talking to, I'm not talking about uh, talking like, oh, how are you doing? Like, I noticed myself talking to a squirrel. Like, did I tell you already? Are you not listening to me? You're not listening. Look at no, me. No, Look at me. No dessert. Of course, we never, ever uh, use food as a punishment. Or never. Or never. Say goodbye. Been um, in time for anything ever again because it takes fucking forever to leave the house. Honestly, like, we normally start getting ready to go to the park about 9.30 to get there for quarter past 11 and then we're still late and I... But you know what? I think like, you know, people say that oh, people with babies are always late. I didn't think that was the case. That was fine no, because their babies can't or walk. <laughs> Your relationship is going to change forever. <laughs> not gonna, I'm not sure how to put this uh, in a nice way. We've been single and we will, we've been looking for that someone special, someone to spend our life with. Then you meet them, you have a child, and you notice you don't spend your life with them. You go out separately. You were, when you were pregnant, you were talking about those date nights, <laughs> weekly date nights. They're not gonna happen. It will change. You'll be tired, you will argue. So if you're considering meeting someone, having babies really quickly, I would say think again because you will be stuck with that person for life. Just food for thought. <laughs> Something equally important is that you will be stuck for life with cold coffee. But then it is also a well-known Finnish fact that a cold coffee makes you beautiful. Which has no doubt been invented by a mum. <laughs> yeah. And there's obviously the thing that we can't overlook, which is the climate emergency. Having a child is pretty much the worst thing as, uh, an individual can do for the environment. But then yeah. you might have a child who's going to grow up to be Greta. Yeah, we love Greta. And, and the amount of plastic crap it is dumbfounding. And charity shops won't make that plastic crap either. So, I mean, what do you do with it? You will not have a nice house anymore. I'm sorry, but it's... You can try. Cream cheese and crayons everywhere. Yeah. 
And then finally, if you are in Instagram, you might have heard of the Instagram versus reality, expectations versus reality. Consider that times 100 if you have children. <laughs> The times you imagine the lovely family picnic, which just ends up being a horror show. Yeah. <laughs> with somebody throwing up. Yeah. Somebody shitting themselves. And I don't know if it's going to be you or your partner all the time. And this is why we do our vlog, because this is the reality. So yes, it's been a bit depressing now, all these cons, but there are some pros as well. When they grow up, they are going to be fun sometimes they're going to be funny they're going to know how to use uh, TikTok and mobile phones and create editable pdfs they are pretty funny now anyway though i mean i um know i was having a bath with his dad and uh, paul asked him if the bath was uh, too hot and Noah said no it's lovely and then i went to get Noah out of the bath and he was red like a beetroot and i said no is the, is the bath a little bit hot and he went yeah it's a bit hot <laughs> And Paul's like, well, you said it was lovely. And Noah said, I was being sarcastic. <laughs> you make new friends. Sometimes, like, like us. Yeah. But also the downside is that you will also have to hang out with parents that you have zero things in common or zero interest in. Who are really boring. Oh, well, this was supposed to be a pro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was. You grow patience. My God, you grow patience or at least you learn to disguise it uh, disguise <laughs> all the all the bent up turmoil inside you learn new things that you didn't know <laughs> i mean we've le i've learned so much about dinosaurs and i mean the school has just started i'm quite looking forward to him starting to learn about biology and things that we learned in school but have completely forgotten yeah and i think also you kind of you learn a different perspective on things sometimes because they are growing up in a completely different era and they're different people so they all they look at things from different perspective and it that's that can be quite interesting yeah about. also you um you won't get hangovers you not often <laughs> you haven't got time yeah you learn to survive in like such little sleep yeah that you would not think is possible that is that is like um superhero skill it is a superhero skill as is a good uh concealer <laughs> so you, you see them become real people like it is kind of magical that you have grown something inside of you mm. and then it was this blob that just cried and cried and cried <laughs> and then it becomes a real person a little person with personality yeah. and that is it is kind of awesome you also learn to love your work in a completely <laughs> different reason in, in reason yeah work is going to be your solace like a completely different world yeah you learn to appreciate your kind of own identity and i think there is there is some hope in the in the youth there's uh, some hope in the children la, la, la. i'm gonna start <laughs> singing michael jackson's song soon <laughs> <laughs> what about elephants but you know, <laughs> i've not heard that one <laughs> the earth song there is some hope and they are uh they fucking clued up little things. They are, they are, they do know and how many uh, plastic straws it takes to uh, kill a whale. Yeah. There is hope that they're going to become leaders, maybe they're going to come up with new ideologies, new systems, maybe they're going to save the world. Mm. Maybe they're going to make a better world for us to be dead in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well this is definitely a positive. It is the endless love the best for now cuddles yeah and the little sticky hands the hole in your hood it's the best cuddles and it's the best compliments mm. noah told me uh I was putting him to bed he said oh mummy you're not very little but you are adorable <laughs> well, mia told me the other day he said mummy some days you're so beautiful and today is one of those days <laughs> I'm gonna kick off by saying we got to give him breakfast. This was a Saturday morning and I'd had a bit of a lion and he'd got out of bed early, gone come downstairs and Paul was here and then he wasn't wanting to eat breakfast so Paul didn't give him breakfast 
and then I woke up and I thought that he had breakfast and just had my own breakfast and by 11 o'clock he was pretty hangry <laughs> and then it was like I'm not giving you a snack <laughs> yeah it's like no you have to wait for lunch and then it's like did you feed him no did I no so mine is uh, food related as well we were on holiday recently and that was amazing and I was kind of spoiling him a little and he ate sushi I think pretty much every day it's such a middle-class mum fail but it was like one of the days he ate sushi for dinner and lunch yeah I think that's that cheers, cheers.